what is up so today's video is going to be about my fencing so we got the new garden all put in um before we can start planting in it we need to put a fencing around it these posts I don't want to uh, have to put any cement or anything I want to keep it all natural so what I'll do is go past the frost line in the ground and put these posts about three feet down underneath and then we have black galvanized fencing that will look pretty good this is the black fencing that we're gonna put around and let's begin so I wasn't able to get all the footage of how I did the post. So I thought it might be a little bit easier for me to do the post and then come back and show you guys how I am doing it or how I have done it. So I got half of it done. So I'll show you a little bit. I took those posts that were sitting right here. I put them three feet into the ground past the frost line. And you can look that up in your state or um, wherever you're at. But I put it three feet down past the frost line and I just placed it in there and then I packed the soil around it so it would be really sturdy so something important you one want to make sure it's past the frost line two you want to make sure you pack the dirt in so it doesn't move so these are pretty tall post um but it works and it's pretty simple i did not want to use any concrete secondly all i did was use this galvanized caging and it worked out pretty well it's sturdy and then i stapled it into the bottom of the base now i know you guys are probably thinking well there's a big dip in there well i went to my local tree trimming company nearby and they're gonna be delivering 40 yards of free mulch which everybody loves free and i'm gonna pack it in here and raise up the ground so it's up to that level and then i kept it pretty level all the way to there some because my uh, yard is at a slope and then over here, I had to dig a little bit, just a little bit, and then screw these in. So these are two by sixes, I think, no, two by four by sixes, something like that. And I just drilled them in to the wood and it makes it even more sturdy, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's nice, it's clean, it's a clean look. I still have this side to finish, which is gonna be tricky because if you look, if I can get it on camera, it's also at a very steep slope. So I'm gonna start a little bit higher and then pack it in with more wood chips. And then this will be a beautiful area. I'm gonna take out the burn barrels. I've just been burning and some shrubbery that's on the fence. I'll be getting the fence done and that'll be a whole nother video. I'll be getting the wood fence done around June. So stay tuned, uh, keep watching, keep subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully this gives you guys some good ideas for protecting your garden and keeping animals out. I have three dogs that like to jump over the fence, but they won't be able to get past this point or those points anymore. So. I appreciate it guys. And before I go, this thing is a must if you're gonna be digging out posts. Post hole, di post hole digger, I can't even talk right. Post hole digger, make sure you guys get one of those. Thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe and like always share the video. Hopefully you got something out of it.